Welcome to the Back Nine Golf Channel. My name is Russ Simonis, and I'm making this video to do a couple things. One, give you a little bit of background about me. I haven't had a chance to formally introduce myself, but then number two is to really explain why I started a golf YouTube channel and talk a little bit about my vision for it and where maybe this thing is going. Uh, it might be a little bit of a long story, so if you don't wanna watch it all, totally get it, um, and that's perfectly okay. Uh, this channel might not be for everyone, and such is life. But what I did want to do, real quick, is it's very early on. When we get to 100 subscribers, when we hit triple digits, um, I'm actually gonna give away this 12 pack of brand new Vice Pro golf balls in white. I really like the Vice Pro golf balls. Uh, I'm not a spokesman for Vice Golf or anything like that. Um, I'm too small to be a spokesman for anything and probably always will be, and that is perfectly okay. But to say thank you to someone uh, who subscribes, you know, one of those first 100, I wanna do something to give something back. And so once we get to 100, I will pick uh, randomly, uh, one of the subscribers from the channel, and uh, I will ship you this brand new 12 pack of golf balls. A little bit about myself, let's start there. My name is Russ Simotis, I'm 42 years old. I live in Madison, Wisconsin, and if you're watching this from overseas, that's near the Great Lakes region. It's not a great area for golf year round. As a matter of fact, the courses are usually shut down from uh, yeah, probably November 1st-ish till usually mid-March. And this year has been terrible. Uh, spring, it's actually, I think it's April 14th or April 15th when I'm filming this video. And I've managed to get several rounds in. You'll notice I've got videos already posted up on the channel uh, prior to this date. Uh, however, the weather this past few days has been just god awful, super windy, a lot of rain, even snow at times. So it hasn't been the best spring for golf in Wisconsin. So why did I create the channel? And I think this is really, really important for me to share because um, I've, I've always been interested in creating a YouTube channel. I'll just be you know, perfectly honest with that. And I actually have a, the equipment to, to create a basic channel. But personally, I've always been afraid to take that leap. I care very much about what people think about me. I just, it's something that I've had a hard time overcoming, if you will, and hopefully that makes sense. For me, I really just started, I, I really got to a point in which I decided it was time for me to overcome that fear and, and take the leap. There's a few things in my life that I truly love. My children being number one and number two. Number three is golf, and number four is videography. And for me, taking this opportunity to capture my experience with the game of golf, my love for the game of golf, where I wanna take my game in the future, and for me to be able to go back and and look at these memories, the progress that, that I'm working to make with the game is just something that's personally important to me. Um, quite frankly, I, I'm not concerned about the channel growing a ton. I'm going to continue to put out content regarding my relationship with the game of golf simply because I want to be able to utilize that um, for you know my own reference in the future. And it, it's a story that I really <laughs> just want to capture. So hopefully some of you can relate to that if you watch this, if you're watching this years down the road or you're watching this a couple weeks after I filmed it. It's not an easy thing to, to make the decision to start a YouTube channel. It, it does require a lot of commitment. I think a lot of my friends probably think I'm a little bit crazy, but that's totally okay. I think that they're crazy too. My background in golf. So when I was a kid, probably about eight or nine years old, my dad, who's still alive and uh, just a great guy, doesn't play as much as he used to, but he started taking me to the golf course as a ride along and to, to watch him play with his buddies. And I think he did this just to introduce me to the game. It didn't take long when, when I was a kid, now mind you, I'm 42 years old, this is 35 years ago, to just grow so interested in the game of golf and develop a love for the game of golf that 
has never really went away. And I think my passion for the game, especially as I've gotten a little older, has only grown. So for the first couple of years, uh, you know, to keep this relatively short, you know, he took me uh, out, you know, to the course with him. I'd watch, maybe he'd let me hit a couple balls or something. And then he eventually bought me this uh, set of, it was a Northwestern youth set. And it, it had five clubs. It had a two wood, a nine wood, or I'm sorry, a two wood, three irons. So it was nine, seven, five, and then a putter. And I thought it was so cool to get that first set of golf clubs and be able to go with the guys and go to the golf course. And, you know, he'd have me play off the red tees um, and just begin to learn the game and learn a lot of aspects about the game, the etiquette, the timely play, all these different things. And it was really cool. A couple years later, I got a little bit, as I got a little bit older and got into high school, you know, I got an adult size set and uh, started playing, you know, generally with my dad or his friends or some of my other friends. And yeah, and there was a point when I was maybe a junior, senior in high school where I probably played some of the best golf I've played. And I was shooting, you know, for nine holes on a par 36, I was shooting anywhere between a, you know, 43 to maybe 47 on average. Essentially, I'm playing like bogey golf. From there, the next 25 years, my game never progressed. I usually played 10 to 15, maybe 20 rounds in a busy summer. And uh, I had a variety of set of clubs. In 2008, I even upgraded and bought some TaylorMades. Uh, I had like the TaylorMade burner drivers and hybrids and I, I bought the uh, R7 irons. At the time, a really nice set, right? I, I, I spent almost $2,000. I bought an Odyssey white hot putter that I still actually use today. and. You know, just continue to play. And I would play in scrambles with my friends. Um, I got in a league. I was living near the Appleton area for a while. I was playing in a league out there. You know, was just your average everyday weekday golfer. And quite frankly, I still am. Don't get me wrong. I, I haven't progressed a lot since that point. So if you think it's kind of funny that, you know, you're starting a YouTube channel and you're basically your average everyday bogey golfer. Yeah, I mean, uh, and I'm not here to impress anyone with my skills. I'm here to capture my golfing experience for myself, but then to share it for whoever's interested. I wanna come back and, and just quickly talk about another reason why I started a golf YouTube channel. And the, the reason for that is I'm uh, just a little bit tired of all the negativity in the world, all the negative negativity on social media. The, the news in the world over the course of the last few years hasn't been great. I think everyone in the world is fully aware of COVID-19 and war in Europe and things like that. And I'm just tired of negativity and I'm looking for something to keep my mind off those negative things. I also want to combine that with an activity that involves healthy habits, motivation to stay fit, ultimately something that I can continue to set new goals to achieve and keep my mind focused on that as opposed to a lot of this negativity that's just out in the world right now. Hopefully that provides you a little bit of insight about the type of person I am and, and why I've created this channel and I'm going to continue to work on this project for the foreseeable future. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about my golf game and where I was at a couple years ago to where I'm at now. So up until 2020, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, I just like straight up bogey golf. That was pretty much the standard. If I went out and shot a 43 for nine holes, I was pretty happy. Anything below 90 for 18, I was certainly satisfied with. For whatever reason, and I'm not entirely sure, last year, things started clicking with my irons. My iron game really started to improve. I was hitting a lot more greens in regulation, and as a byproduct, for the first time in over 30 years, uh, I started scoring better and consistently scoring better. I'll, I'll share with you the best round I ever had in my life up until 2021 was when I shot an 85 at Century World in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Um, and I think that was probably in like 2005. 
Now, if you're from the Wisconsin area, you're probably f familiar with Century World, super nice course. I actually shot that round. I was all by myself and just went out and happened to play one day and played pretty good golf. And that 85 was the best round that I had posted for a 15 year stretch. Last year, with some changes in my life, and my personal life, I decided to start playing more and just started to see improvements in my game coming forward. Last year, I broke 80 for the first time, um, and I was fortunate enough to do it three times. My personal best right now is a 77 for 18 holes on a par 72 course. Um, and then last year, I had, so I had a 77 and I posted two 78s. And then I had a lot of rounds in the low 80s, but I will tell you that breaking 80 for me was just one of the best feelings I've, I've ever had in terms of individual accomplishments involving sports. Um, I just, I never thought I would be able to get over that hurdle. I played consistently very average golf for many, many years. And then for whatever reason, something started clicking and I started playing better. That's really where I'm at now. Over this past winter, so the, between the 21 and 20, 22 seasons, because I mentioned the weather's really poor in Wisconsin in the winter months, I've really focused a lot on continuing to improve. Spent a lot of time at a indoor, outdoor driving range that's nearby and then was playing uh, in an indoor league at a place called X Golf here in Madison and had a really good time with that. I felt like I really made some gains with my iron striking, some gains with my short game, the chipping aspect, not the putting aspect so much, some consistent improvement in my club speed, my ball speed, and then of course, you know, my distance off the tee. So as a result, here I am in 2021 and I'm, or in 2022, and I'm out to set new goals. So this year, my goal is to shoot even par for 18 holes before the season is over. And for me, that's a really aggressive goal. And it's a goal that there's a pretty high likelihood that I'm not going to achieve. So my secondary goal is to pull my handicap below 10. As of today, when recording this, my handicap is at 11.1. .1. When I actually started this season, so back in March, my handicap was at 10.8. So it's actually gone up a little bit since I've started this season, but the handicap you know, captures the last 20 rounds, at least the version of the handicap I'm using on Swing U, uh, which is an app that you can find on the App Store. But some of my good rounds from last year, and I think two of my rounds in the 70s have actually fallen off. And as a result, you know, my handicap is, is going back up a little bit. But I, I posted a couple okay rounds to start this season. I had an 83 and an 81. If you go back, those those videos are are on the channel, or they will be on the channel if they're not there already. I did not play exceptionally well those rounds, and I did like not meeting my, I think what my standard of golf is going to be moving forward. So, if if I don't shoot even par this year on just one round, my secondary goal is to get that handicap in the single digits. Hopefully, hopefully I can get there. So. That's really, when, you, when you're watching the videos, uh, if you're watching the videos this year, uh, those are the two main goals that I'm striving for. Now, uh, there's gonna be a lot of tournament play here in 2022 that I am gonna share on the channel. So I didn't mention this earlier, but I'm a military veteran of 22 years, and I actually still serve on active duty here in Wisconsin, and I will, serve on active duty for, it's a few more years before I can retire. But for me, I, my intent is to have a career in golf to some degree after my military career. I might be cutting grass at the golf course or working the front desk at the golf course or maybe I'm doing a golf vlog, but uh, I'm gonna follow my passion after the military and continue to golf. So tournaments, the goal this year is also to get my VGA, so the Veterans Golf Association, 
handicap below 10 as well, which would put me into B flight. Right now, my VGA handicap is actually 14.2. And um, I did not play particularly well in the VGA tournaments last year, but this year, you know, I think the game has improved a little bit and I'm gonna take the camera along and we're gonna make sure we do episodes revolving around the VGA tournaments that I participate in. And there's good competition out there, so I'm hoping that those videos are pretty interesting and something that you might find interesting as well. Uh, that's kind of what's going on in 2022. That's a little bit about the background of the channel, the, the, the vision that I have here. I'm excited to just be taking the leap forward and creating my own content. I 100% recognize that the YouTube golf um, arena, if you will, is an extremely crowded space. Uh, I've been watching a couple channels for a while and uh, channels that I really like. I'm not gonna mention them on here. Uh, but there's a lot of good content out there and they're it's it's players that God willing someday I get to play with some of these players um, Because I, I just really enjoy the way they go about sharing their stories and creating their content for their viewers on YouTube The ultimate goal for me is just to have fun with this and if you're interested to bring you along and If you're not interested, that's totally okay, too but if you made it to all the way to the end of this video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you for watching and thank you for your interest. I'll probably update this as my introductory video uh, for the channel. Uh, I mean, it'll be my introductory video for a short period of time and then I'll probably create something a little bit newer that's a little bit more updated with where I'm at. But a lot of content to come here in 2022 and beyond and I hope to bring you along. Thank you so much for watching.